live now. All right, hey, the stream's working, and uh, everything looks fine. I'm Boosh, and I am accompanied by my friend uh, Becca. Becca, you are a player in this game I have called uh, Quest Nuts. Who is your character? Her name is Farrah. Okay, let's I'd zoom. Like call her the Battle Bard. Mm -hmm. You are the Battle Bard. Fair of the Battle Bard. And uh, let me recap what happened last time. Last time, Belonke went out on his own. Oh, everyone sort of had their own little side adventure. Gee, Russ, Wade, and uh, Marina went out shopping at the mall while he Pharaoh held down the fort. And Belonke went out to, you know, go some information shopping and, you know, some buy some uh, kind of shady uh, ship parts that you don't know about yet. But uh, it's the next day. Wade's installing the new parts. And uh, everything seems to be going pretty okay. And you as get. As far as I know, Farrah bakes cookies. <laughs> yep, she bakes cookies. Roll me a culinary skill. I don't even know if she has culinary skills. Roll your charisma going... because it's the stat of love. <laughs> Alright, where is that? That'd be your social skills, wouldn't it? No. Just, just roll your charisma. Where is. Oh, there it is. That's a plus four. Go for it. Watch her fail at making cookies. Thirteen. They're pretty good. They are. She followed the recipe off the back of the chocolate chip bag. <laughs> yep. Gee really likes them. Despite, you know, having no sense of taste. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. At least I don't like them. <laughs> At least someone likes them. So, you know, after making cookies and, you know, doing other friendly shit, you get a phone call. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Phone call. Phone call. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Phone yeah, call. Phone call. I need that ringtone. Pokemon. Sorry. What was that, Farrah? I'm sorry. There's a distraction. There's a bird yeah, at my you door. I that ringtone. You need to change that ringtone? Yeah. Do you pick up the phone? Of course. While saying that she needs to update it. Alright. It is your fiance, Nicola. 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 Okay. Nicola. Nicola. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually going to give him a voice this time. Last time we, uh, Nicole, Nicola was uh, here. He didn't really have much of a voice, so I'll give him one. Farah, it's me, Nicola. What's up? Hi there. Uh, not much, actually. We're just kind of resting after our whole ordeal with that unicorn, remember? <laughs> Would you happen to be, uh, you know... Crap, I keep forgetting the name of the station you're at right now. Give me a uh, name. We named, we named it some generic galaxy-themed, like, gas station name. Uh, it's a little bit more than that, but, uh... It's one of those Quest Not outposts. It is actually not Quest Not Run. This is, you know, its own little community. But, uh... We'll think of a name, give me something. Butts. But solely. Face wawas. God. <laughs> Would, God. <laughs> Would you happen to be, uh, you know, at these uh, specific coordinates? <laughs> ah, all right. Um. Farrah is going to just. Can she just like check, like her nav the navigation real quick? Um, roll me a general knowledge check real quick. Is that intelligence or... Yeah, it's your general knowledge, it's your intelligence plus, you know, any skills you put into general knowledge. I don't think she has any general knowledge, like, at all. That's what I'm saying, can she just be, do the dumb thing and check the radar? Yeah, it, but you still need to be able to read maps. 
Uh, okay, uh, doesn't look like she has anything in that. I'd better work on that, huh? Yeah, roll your intel. Which is literally just a flat 20. Go for it. I failed horror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, okay, she's gonna be like, well, I actually have no idea how to read a map, hon. Um, oh, um, okay. But I'm at this station. <laughs> okay, look. I'm at the same one, and I found a really good place. Then maybe you would like to, you know, go on a date? I'm, I'm at the same station, so we can meet up at the restaurant. That'd be cool. And she's like, well, since we're getting married, I don't really consider it a date, but I would love to. Mm. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, God, I've been waiting to have some time off. Maybe my captain... I'm probably not going to tell him, but, uh, I'll see you there. Alrighty. I'm sure Blanche's not even going to argue with me, considering I'm three times the size. Good. <laughs> Blanche goes, you want to go on a date? <laughs> no, more of, like... Don't Blanche bring him like, back here. You gotta watch the ship. <laughs> Wait, repeat? More like Blanca telling Sarah she has to stay behind and watch the ship, and she's just like, uh, my dad is in town. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna increase the gain a little bit. Can you hear me fine on my mic? Yeah. Okay, I'm just wondering if uh, the audience can, and you are breaking up a little bit. Okay. Sorry about that. It's probably because I'm in a, just hanging out on my bed rather than my desk, which pro has better reception a bit, but okay. I am not moving from my bed. I am sick today. I understand. Um, I'm actually going to go to the live stream website right now just to double check that uh, our stream is going okay, dokey. Okay, dokey. All right, and I will mute it as soon as possible. Alright, it's loading, 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 I made it out of loading. Hopefully it's recording, la 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 la. So, you get basically the address that you can put into your little iPhone thing, basically. Mm -hmm. And it'll, you know, give you directions to where you need to go in the station. So, uh... Blanque basically goes, you're going on a date? Don't yeah. bring him back here. Yeah. I'm tired of cleaning Fine. the mattresses. Fine. Get a room. Just not one on this ship. Enjoy your date. <laughs> Do you get ready for this at all? Or what do you bring with you? Well, definitely not wearing... Well, no, she'd probably still have her... You know, she'd probably just wear her armor. After all, it's kind of like a... Uh, is this kind of a seedier kind of area of the Quest Knot base branches? Um, this is actually not a Quest Knot base at all. This is actually just sort of a reg residential sort of shopping. It's... Here, here's what it is. Think of if the Mall of America got so big that, you know, all the employees there had to live there as well. Okay, so essentially the Florida Mall. <laughs> yep. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. And the Florida Mall has a hotel connected to it for the people that actually listen to the live stream. <laughs> Good. I, did, I didn't even know that either, so... <laughs> Alright, you, you do have to cut across this sort of uh, shadier part of the area. Okay. But for the moment, you know, it probably shouldn't take you too long to get there. Alright. Yeah, I'm still just going to wear my armor anyways. Do you at least polish it? Make it look nice. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. It's more. It is more of a ceremonial armor. Like, yeah, it's... This is a prop game armor. Again, it's very ceremonial. It's a part of their culture. <laughs> It's like a, you know, a football outfit. I don't know. It just makes her look like a Valkyrie. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's the plan. All right, Farah, your character is going to be on the very far uh, right. No, left. Left, sort of right here. I'm pinging where you are. Yep, I, I usually am really zoomed out on my on the map, so I can see it. Okay. I'm, I'm zooming in more mostly because, you know, uh, damn it. Live Sorry for. Purposes. Yeah, live stream purposes. And uh, I accidentally, you know, used my stupid Mac mouse pad and scrolled myself. Or, you know, went back. Now I have to wait for everything to load again. Yay! Okay. So, Farah. You're crossing by this sort of shady street area. Some uh, hover bikes outside of this place. And uh, what seems to be... Uh, it used to be called... Uh, uh, give me a brothel. It used, to be a nice, it used to be a nice place, but now it's kind of not. Um, more of... The place is, used to be called Gregor's and Maul's Brothel Mania. Oh my. <laughs> and uh, Gregor's name has been crossed out. And, you know, there's someone up there trying to work the sign and try to remove the Gregor aspect of it. <laughs> mm hmm So, uh, you know. And, so, this uh, is a, so this is a brothel. Yep, right there. But that's not where Nicola wanted you to meet him. You'd actually have to, you know, get around this building in order to meet him. Okay. And to the other side of you is a, uh, ship parts store. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, you step a little bit forward, 15 feet or so, and out of the brothel comes a, uh... Give me a second with this guy. Comes a familiar face. It's your fiance. No, I'm kidding. Uh. Honey, I can explain. <laughs> <laughs> um, comes this guy, and he's just running like, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, oh, hey, it's you. <laughs> oh, God. What do you want? <laughs> oh, now, now that I, I actually didn't know you were in town, so how you been doing? I defeated a unicorn. Oh! Oh! Ro roll me uh, diplomacy to see if he actually <laughs> believes you. <laughs> I think the money in her bank account could actually do that, too. Yeah, well, he doesn't have a, you know, your, you know, I mean, he probably used to have uh, access to your bank account, but, uh, you know. I, no one's gonna believe her. By the way, uh, backstory oh, here, can... Gulliver can... is, is, uh, Farrah's ex, so. Hey, hold on a minute, I think, I just rolled a one again, I don't know if it's because this thing is glitching out or not. Um, he doesn't believe you. Alright, because... let me roll the two flat d20s real quick just to test the dice roller. Eh, no problem. It, what the? What the fuck? Hmm. Yeah, you're doing good. Oh. You just had to get rid of all those bad rolls. You know, at least they'll be there for you when combat starts, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... she doesn't believe her. She's just like, what the fuck ever. She doesn't like him anyways. It's like, so, where are you going? That is none of your business. Oh, uh, really? You mind if I tag along? No. You don't Go mind? Away. No, I do mind. Go away. Well, why? I thought we were friends. We are not friends. You tried to kidnap me. You kidnapped, schmidnap. Look, it was just something uh, Polly asked me to do, okay? Out of my control, okay? I don't care if your little gang made you do it. 
Well, you know. You were a shit boyfriend and you were a shit manager. And I'm done with you. Oh, fair. I don't say that. It's, I thought we could be friends. I mean, yeah, there's that time, but... Look, I just gotta listen to higher-ups, and, you know, one day, I'll make it to the top of this industry. You know? I don't care if you make it to the top. I'm done with it. The shit you made me do is unforgivable. I'll never be able to live any of that down. Oh, come on. It couldn't have been that bad. Farah, a distinct memory of you having to chop up a bag... Filled with God knows what, most likely people, enters your mind. She just what there goes now. I'll never forgive myself. Aww. It still haunts me to this day. Well, you know, I can relate to that. I have a few things that I regret. Mostly like my poor diplomacy skills. And, uh... Out from, uh, I'm going to roll an attack roll against Gulliver. Oh boy, people are out to kill Gulliver. A, uh, know. a knife actually misses him. A uh, knife flows down and hits, uh, between your feet and Gulliver's feet. And it's revealed that uh, on the roof of a uh, building nearby are two tailed implants. And on oh. another building, another two tailed implants. And. Oh, they have to go over? And. Wait, give me a second. Um, you don't know. And behind you. Is, uh, you know, a good, uh, army of implants. So, you know, you see them all surround you. Air's going to stare for just a second. We'll go over to Gulliver and just what the fuck did you do? I was trying to do a business transaction. We were gonna have them, you know, you know, buy some of our, uh, uh, let me, give me, let me think of the name of a good drug. Give me, give me, uh, Stardust. what? Stardust. It's like angel dust. Uh, I was actually thinking of space cake. Space cake works too. That could be like what? Cocaine? Um, space cake I actually believe is like if you cook a... Uh, I'm probably wrong because you know I don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kid. Kids. <laughs> I just remember all of it from the D.A.R.E. Drugs program, you know, that late 90s anti-drug program. Yeah. The lion mascot. I, re I remember the bee. The bees that would play basketball. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs or you'll become whack and bad at basketball. <laughs> you want to be good at basketball. You want to score slam dunks. All right. So, um, yeah, so I tried to, you know, start up a space cake, uh, you know, cooking operation here. You know, using the help of the uh, local uh, gang of uh, implants. You know, they would, you know, provide cheap labor for, uh, you know, their cooking of space cake. And, uh, we would uh, split the profits about, uh, 90-10. We would take 90% and they would take 10%. Yeah, just kind of their arms and go... Okay, about how, how half-baked was this plan before you actually put it in motion? Well, the boss originally wanted to do it 70-30, but I wanted to be a go-getter. Alright, so it wasn't even half-baked. You're a little shit. 
And I think you need to die, but... Just groans. Okay, you know what? You don't even... You don't... Even you don't deserve death by implants. They're all sort of dancing around like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh... She's just sitting there, looks to him, and just goes, You are going to stay. Stay where? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna run. Yeah, just going, if you run, they'll chase after you. And then how the hell am I supposed to get rid of them? Well, you're gonna get rid of them now. See ya. Not if they're chasing you. Um, let's roll initiative. <laughs> if Gulliver runs off and those things go after him, because Farrah has yet to do anything to these suckers. I think Farrah is just going to, like, shake her head and go, fine, his problem. <laughs> All right. So, Farrah. Um, I don't roll. even think I hack an initiative to roll. You, you just roll a flat d20 for me. That's be her dex, right? Yep. Yeah, flat d20. 19. All right. The implants. Implants go implants. And now for uh, Gulliver. Oh, you get to go first. <laughs> Wait, because it affects everybody, including Gulliver. <laughs> what do you want to do? The sonic note. <laughs> uh, describe to me what that does again. Cost one AP, roll a d20. Charisma plus any skill point versus anyone in a 20 radius with a fortitude save. On a success, your opponent becomes staggered and takes 1d6 plus charisma of damage. On a failure, your opponents don't get sta staggered or take damage. On a nat 1, they take you, I myself will take 1d6 and cannot speak for 1d6 round. Okay. So this front row of implants would be wiped out if you roll uh, anything higher than a 13 on this roll. They're not well, very. Could roll. He could walk forward a little bit and affect right. the entire two rows. Like I'm sure if he walks okay. here, that affect most of them, right? Okay. Let me see. Yep, that would affect all of them. Not them, but I'd get the ones on the roof too. Yeah. So I need to roll. A D20 Do remember you have limited uses equal to your charisma modifier. So. I have four. I have four uses of this thing. <laughs> yep. One d twenty plus charisma plus my social skills, so it's an plus eight. Roll it. Damn it! It's a fortitude save that they have to roll. Oh wait, I thought they uh, the, their fortitude is a flat number, Becca. Oh, well, it says against their. Wait, I'm actually thinking of these implants right here. It says fort save. Anyone in a D20 radius fortitude save. Wait. Does it say that you you have to roll or do you, or does that do they have to roll? Versus anyone in a 20 radius fortitude save. This is how you wrote it. Okay, then I I I fucked up. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it doesn't really affect Gulliver because he's used to your singing now. <laughs> and it doesn't affect these two tailed ones. Already. But uh, these guys right here. Yep. And they take 1d6 plus charisma and they are staggered. Roll a uh, d6. 10 damage. Ooh, they get full damage. Um, guess what? It didn't even really matter. <laughs> I was actually going to judge how how many implants you would take out with the damage you did. And because, you know... Um, God, I have to go through all of them. Their ears just sort of explode. <laughs> There's blood coming out of all their ears. They're screaming in pain. Sarah just sits there and Sarah's going... I did not know how powerful this thing was. <laughs> she didn't realize how powerful her new trick was going to be. She's like, oh dear. 
Then again, they are implants, but still. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve implants. <laughs> yep. And these guys were minion level sort of shits. Mm. Tailed ones, not so much. Yeah, the tailed ones are a bit more elite. Mm. And uh, what do you do next? She still has one action point left, right? Yep. Mm. What can she do other than move? Well, there's always the potential of backup. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> She can move as far as 30 feet? No. She has less because of the armor. Yep. What's it gonna be, Becca? What's it gonna be? Well, I'm gonna have her move here. <laughs> Just kind of like, okay, I did not know that was going to happen. <laughs> the tailed ones look a bit furious. And, uh, I believe it is Gulliver's turn. Gull yeah. Gulliver is immediately if going... He tries to... If he tries to run, Barra's going to tell him to stop. Mm -hmm. Um... Because this is his problem, and now she has to deal with it, so he's going to stay mm -hmm. here, and he is going to... Or else she's going to hit him, too. 13. 13. I have an axe now, Gulliver. If you try to run away, I'm gonna hit you too. Gulliver immediately runs away. And here's well, he, here's because he's a coward. At heart, he's a coward. Note to self: the next time he freaking shows his face, smack him. And Gulliver tries to run away down this alleyway. Is confronted by even more implants, and he's like, "Nope, nope." Nope, 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 nope. And, uh, immediately runs to a right, around right over here. <laughs> he's doing this terrible noise as he's running away. Do they believe in gods, these aliens? The implants? That you created? No, the Zazu. Um... We'll work on that later. He'll probably say, like, uh, gosh. Jeepers, crime any. <laughs> um. Well, as of right now, like, god damn it. And then, uh. Oh, wait, I forgot. And out of this, uh. Club. Comes the. Comes, uh, two of them. Which one is oh, a big old implin, and for big old implin, that's around maybe, you know, five, seven, sort of average height for you know normal things. Okay, so still shorter than Sarah. Big old long claws, and very hairy. I am not paid for this. I don't even like this little feathery fucker. It's like, you killed, you killed almost half my men. Well, how am I going to deal with you? I could hear you all the way from out here, you birdie bitch. I wasn't even planning on killing them, okay? And there's a brainy implant uh, in his hands that he's holding on. Very tightly. Who is... Who, you know, pretty much being tortured the entire time. Does he look... He looks sad in this picture. Uh, yeah. He, he basically is like, Yeah, you're gonna pay for that. You're, go you're gonna get el eliminated. Annihilated. Discombobulated. And the boss squeezes him like, Eh, I'm sorry, boss. I'll only speak when spoken to. Oh, you there, just sitting there, just going, why does that remind me of somebody? Looks, you know, thinks back to Polly and Gulliver.
over. Good. So <laughs> you're next. Get, uh, get them, boy. And the uh, tailed implants are going to uh, this one right here is going to jump down. Wait, let me roll. Uh... Real quick, does my little locket have a like a texting function? Um, I, yes, but if you were going to do it in combat, it would take about 2 AP. Because, you know, texting in the middle of combat is not very, you know, Yeah. use, you know, it's not very, you know, wise. It's like, hey, in a deadly sword fight, love you, bae. <laughs> Uh, one implant is going to jump off the building and actually make the DC for, you know, falling without, you know, breaking its neck. Lands on the dumpster halfway down and then jumps off to tr go to, uh, you know, try to stab you with its tail. And it is going to roll... A nat 20. Great. Well, good news. It's not a lot of damage. Bad news. Uh, you're going to take some damage. So this thing uh, sort of jumps up in the air, does like a rapid somersault with its tail that is holding a knife in it, stretched out, and this thing whips around you and slices you diagonally. For right, damage. ten damage. Minus damage reduction, right? Yep. Okay. So that's a six in damage reduction. <laughs> yeah, these guys aren't you know strong. They got a better fortitude. They got more things going on than their friends, but they're not you know. They're probably not as tough as this guy. <laughs> Although you. And uh, another two implants are going to uh, one's going to jump off, and I'll roll his. Uh, two, another two are going to jump off. Rolling. One, one would made it. Would money make him? Would money make them stop? <laughs> um, you killed a lot of them. Yeah, min, yeah, minion level. Yeah, but you know, everyone sort of knows each other, you know? Alright. It's like, I killed your employee. <laughs> and they're going to roll against you. Dink. Dink. By the way, Farrah is very tanky. She is very tanky. And this one up here is going to throw his knife at you. Still not a hit. I'm presuming. Becca? What? No, it doesn't. They have to beat, what, a 27? Yeah. yeah 27. So, yeah, these guys are going to have a bit of problem with you. This guy's sort of, like, watching his troops, like, yep. Yeah. Oh, and these, <laughs> uh, implants. Um, because they got revealed, uh, as sort of partway through his round as an Overwatch sort of deal. Mm -hmm. They're only gonna make it partway to, uh... Sarah? No, Gulliver. Uh, okay, so they're, those guys are on their way to Gulliver. Yeah. Well, Bear can't really deal with those ones right now. Hmm. So... What do you Sarah do? wasn't even planning on killing these guys, but you know, they're... now that the boss is kind of just like, you know what, going after her anyways, now it's become her problem. What do you do now? Is she within... She's exactly 20 feet from the boss. Alright. Hmm. His fortitude is going to be higher than his minions, you know that, right? 
Yeah, I know. I was just thinking about it, but I decided against it. It's like, eh, I don't know. Um, let's just go ahead and find and hit them. I'm going to try to hit the three in front of me. That'll be all three of my action points, I think. All right, go for it. So with my axe, Frank makes it a total of ten, so I just roll a plus ten. Um, did you have any bonus because of your discipline? Oh, well, my rank is an eight with a plus two in discipline. It should be plus four because you're a little five now, so... Wait, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Making that eleven. Making twelve. It's a plus twelve? Oh, thirteen. It should be a plus thirteen. Alright, go for it. So, rolling my axe plus thirteen. Seventeen. And that, oh wait, no wait, wrong one. It's not a D twenty. There you go. That's a hit. So, that's a fail. And a hit. I will let your two hit and then your axe is going to fly somewhere. Roll damage. Oh, Alright, so three D six plus four is I believe, yeah. Wait, you're wielding a two-handed weapon? But that... it says an axe. Alright, because of your discipline, you get two extra d6 on that, Becca. So, you're rolling a lot more d6 than uh, you originally intended. A 3d6 plus 4? No, it's going to be 5d6, because 3d6 is because you're two-handing an axe. Oh, okay. And it's going to be an additional 2d6, because, you know. Alright. So, hit one, hit two. Alright. One dead. Another one. Dead. Dead. And here's what happens. You go in for a, you know, wide horizontal swing. And your axe flies out of your hand misses this one but basically scalps this one right next to him so is it like stuck in the wall here it's stuck now? in the wall right there okay so next so would that take a whole action just to get it out of the wall yeah um it'll take uh an action point to get it out of the wall you have to move there as well okay. so yeah all right next up is gulliver Gulliver is going to go this way. And see more implants? Yep. More implants there. Here all Sparrow was trying to do was stagger them. Which then she accidentally killed 12. <laughs> and I mean, it's like, I'm going to punch a baby. Probably not the best idea. Well, it wasn't, more, it wasn't like punchy punch the baby. It was more of just like I, I, I just want to make them stop being able to run after us. Hmm. And uh, next up, uh, let me see, let me see. Um, give me a second. Uh, Gulliver then uh, bumps into uh, a bigger implant? Or Nicola? Into, well, you already guessed it. Eh. Wait, give me a moment. I think we just had a dragon token for him or something. No, I actually made one this time around. And voila! He bumps into Nicola. And, uh. Gulliver's like, You gotta help me! You gotta help me! And Nicola is, uh, like. Holy crap, okay, what, what's the matter? And then notices a big mob of implants. <laughs> and uh, then notices, you know, some more implants. Give me a moment. And there. Token. Down there. And right. Nicholas is basically like, 
Oh god, what did you get yourself into? It's like, look man, I'm just trying to do my job. I do I was just, I was trying to be good. You know? Like, was, oh god. That has no idea that there is just right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no idea. Um, and then, uh, I believe, uh, it will be Nicola and Gulliver versus, uh, and by the way, they have, uh, they, they only have, uh, simple blasters. So, you know, it'll be fun. Well, you know, they're trained using them. They are disciplined in using them. It's just, you know. Yeah. Probably take a while for that many enemies. But I believe it's the Implin's turn. This one is going to roll an acrobatics check to, you know, jump down. And jump so gracefully he lands right next to you. And then we'll attempt to claw you, because he's out of knives. And dink. The other <laughs> one... St stumbles. He tries to scorpion you. Uh, tries to get your feet. But you put your foot up and step on his tail. <laughs> he's just going, he yo, yo! No, Did he's he not. Some damage? No, this is more of a. Ooh, my toe! Ooh! <laughs> owie, owie! <laughs> well, now he's technically stuck because my foot is on yeah, his Yeah, he, he's gonna have one less AP next uh, next turn. It's gonna take a full AP just to get from underneath her foot. It's more of like he stubbed his toe and he's gonna be distracted with that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, charging you. With, uh, one arm tucked in, holding his brainy implin, and the other hand, with an extended claw, and I'm moving, uh, these dead guys right over here. He's gonna move up, and he's going to attack. Why did I give him? He might actually be able to hit you. Yep. All right. And now for his damage, which is no laughing matter. 15 minus your damage nine. reduction. Six makes nine. All right. And now it is for the other implant's turn. Moving in formation. They are getting uh, closer. It's sort of like they're moving in uh, unison trying to form a formation where they, uh, you know, cut Gulliver and uh, Nicola off. And their entire goal is to move into formation right now where they are going to be sort of, you know, stuck. All I wanted to do was go on a date and have well, you know, not everyone gets what they want, Vera. <laughs> Alright. And, uh... Tom's awkward hello has signified that he is home. <laughs> he's always like, oh. hello. Making, he's gonna hear this if he actually... No, he won't. He won't listen to this fucking shit. And, uh... Wade makes a guest appearance. Gateway. Wade, Wade saves the tur. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> it would. In your fucking fantasy world. <laughs> but it won't happen. <laughs> it won't. So, yeah, they have moved in. Sort of blocking everyone's way. And now they're cornered. Your turn, Farah. Oh, um, Nicola doesn't get a chance? Um, Nicola will act next round, because this is when he okay. just met Gulliver. And he will act on Gulliver's turn. Farah's just in there going, I don't want to do this. Because 
He is, you know, fuck Gulliver. But she's kind of trapped now. Yep. So, melee axe again. Three times. Um, you don't have your axe if you remember. Right. I mean, she's gonna have to go fucking get it or run. But she's going to want her axe, because, you know... My axe! Yep. Does she have to move on the square, or can she, like, move here? She can move there. Alright. That's one point. One to get it, and then she's gonna swing at the boss. Actually, the axe is, like, right here. Do I have to? Oh, wait, I, I, I was pointing at the screen, like you could fucking see it. It's, like, two squares <laughs> that was down. Fine. I was actually poking my computer screen. I'm like, why so can't you see it, right Becca? Here. So she can move right here, technically a five foot step. Yeah, I mean, you can beat her axe from there. It's it's gonna be one AP to get there and one AP to pull it out, but you can make one attack. Then, this... Yeah, one to hit the boss. All right, go for it. Sixteen. Does it hit? He manages the dodge. God damn it. So, uh... The guys hate me. Yeah, they do. So, uh... Tailed and Flynn is gonna move down and try to claw at you. And, uh... Wait, didn't one of them lose, um... Yeah, it's the one that, you know, didn't trip up like an idiot. But <laughs> this one, uh, you know... Tried to hit you. Okay. Well, when she misses the boss, by the way, she's gonna let out a fairly loud just, oh, god damn it! And he's just laughing. He's like, you! Oh, you. You're gonna be fun to eat tonight. I've never had Zazu before. Yeah, boss. Zazu a bit tastes really good. And, uh,. Oh, wait. I forget. I'm stepping ahead of myself. Uh, by the way, the tailed implants, uh Oh, yeah, he gets another attack. Hey, well, they gotta and he misses. Seven. This one moves, uh, you know, sort of like... Ugh! Tries to go here and try to claw you, but still miss. So, now, and, uh, now it's, I'm going to go to Gulliver and Nicola, and Nicola okay. is going to shoot with a plus 20. How loud exactly was my god damn it, by the way, enough to reach around the corner, no. Um. I don't know how echoey these walkways Not are. really. And especially when there's a whole bunch of those things giggling. By the way, they're all just going, hey, 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 just sort of gremlin noises. Okay. That is kind of hard to hear. Also, you're on the other side of a building. So, uh, next up is Nicola, and he is going to fire uh, at three of them. He just has to, you know, he's got... He, he, Oh, wow. <laughs> or all his other attacks. He he hits two. And then his blaster his jam. Jams. And then his gun jams. Or the battery <laughs> dies. Who, Gulliver's or Wade's? Wait, Sorry, um, Wade, sorry. Nicola. Nicola's. He's like... Right. He's like click, 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 click. Oh, God. Oh, where's the other pair of batteries? <laughs> Take an AP to fix that, right? Yeah. Alright. And Gulliver is going to uh, blast. He's like, oh man, I didn't want to do this. I hate the sight of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because, you know, it explains a lot of what he had to make Farrah do and why he made Farrah do it. <laughs> Alright, plus 17. Hit. 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 So he just takes out three of them. This blast, blast, blast. And, uh... 
I believe it's uh, Boss Implin's turn. And Boss Implin is going to try to initiate a grapple with Farah. He has to beat your... Uh... Oh, wait. I just... I think that 34... What? Uh, Farah, minus five points from your damage. Because I realized that I had oh. the boss doing a specific combat move. Okay, what does that mean? That means you only take, uh... He, he's doing a power attack, basically. Okay. And it's going to take two of his AP, so... So what does this mean? Uh, this means he's going to make at least uh, two attack rolls this uh, round. And you get five hit points back because he only did a regular attack the first time around. Okay, so plus five. Yep, give yourself five hit points okay. back. I'll be nice. I'm being nice. And, uh... Wait, did I copy and paste his attack? Yep. He's going to make two attacks on you. Yeah. All right. I also feel like my Sonic note. I should probably like upgrade it to where it does something worse when it's point blank range, like where the boss is. Yep. So that's a hit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. He is I sort of. God, it's more than forty-four damage. I mean, it probably won't. And you'll get damage reduction for each one, do remember. Still. Okay, five. And... Eleven. Eleven. Alright. So he just sort of pushes your head into the wall... Sort of leave it, and then does it again, and sort of leaves a crater the second time. And, uh, now it's the, uh, Implins. The Implins on top, noticing that their ranks are dwindling, are going to definitely, uh, surround Gulliver. So, you know... Um, about, uh, he's gonna take, suffer from, uh, one, two, three, four, five attacks. And Gulliver is actually pretty nimble, so he might be able to dodge all of these. He's got at least, like, maybe a 23. So... Hopefully. You know, if Gulliver actually dies, Farron's not going to be too upset. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. And all of them just sort of miss. Gulliver's just like, ooh, ah, what? Hey. Oh, almost lost my hat. Ease. And uh, three are going to come in close and try to take care of Nicola. Who has at least 24. From what I'm saying right now. Alright. Miss, miss, and miss. Nicola manages to sort of like kick him off. Like, get, get away, get away. And let's lead back to Farah. You could say that she's a bit of a crater face. Uh, that's and bad. Your jokes are bad, and you should feel bad. I should. So, what's it gonna be, Farah? What's it gonna be? Uh... Does the implant and the boss get a task of opportunity if I start running? I, I've really thought about it. If they did an Overwatch thing, yes. But if you just run, then no. 
okay, because at this point it feels more like she needs to start making attacks. She she's going to be like, okay, yeah, no, this is... I can move up to 50 feet in two turns and then still have enough to heal myself. And, uh, two AP, yeah. So do you do that? Yeah, let me see how far I can go. But it's 25. And that's 25. Hey, enough to see all the other influence if I move there. Alright, you go in there? Might as well. well. At least about here. That's about 50. And then healing. Doubles every 5. You already fixed that, so it's a plus 4. Four to my healing, which needs is healing based off of my charisma or just a healing Wh wisdom. Heal it's wisdom or intelligence. Okay, so that makes sense. And if you're plus. doing a heal check, five. I just want to heal myself. I'm using one of her disciplines. Okay, then I will for every five you roll. Like, every one above five, you get that many hit points back. Okay, so 1d20 plus five. All right. You rolled it. Damn. Well, you got one hit point back. One hit point. You, you sort of rip off uh, a piece of the shirt you're wearing underneath your armor or dress. Actually, isn't your it's armor it's sort of a leather deal? It's mainly leather, but I'm pretty sure she has an undershirt. You rip off a piece of the undershirt, and, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, cover up, like, a minor cut, and you're like, okay, this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. It just hurts. And you wipe your brow... You wipe your brow and notice that the entire arm that you wiped your brow is with is red. It's like, oh. Oh. Maybe I'm not so good right now. Yep. <laughs> you didn't even bring any potions. 30 feet. Actually, no, she has potions. I have potions. I have five bottles. All right, Implin One chases after you. Ends up right here, and uh, doesn't hit you. You manage to just sort of pancake him off with your axe. <laughs> this one is uh. Actually, just gonna move right here. And, uh, implant other right here. Uh, wait, let me measure it out. Let me see if he can reach you in 3 AP. 30. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it'll even have enough to make an attack. And he's gonna roll his attack. And almost hit, but not quite. You just sort of block him off with your axe. And, uh... Right. Now I believe it's Gulliver and, uh... Nicholas turn. Yep. What did I roll for them? Um... It's like plus 20 for Nicola. Nicola reloads his gun and makes another two shots off. Not 20! Woo! Let me roll another. I say that net 20 should be able to hit two implants. Uh, when you shot it diagonally. You know what? I was going to do that, but not anymore. I'm kidding. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Because they are minions. <laughs> So basically, uh, he shoots the implant in front of him as soon as he puts a new bet and it hits the one behind him, leaving a hole, a very, you know, a parallel hole. And, uh, 
Implant boss is going to do something for his friends. He's going to roll a social skills check. The boss? Yep, he is going to basically do a sort of a yodel, I guess, like a <laughs> A weird battle cry? A weird battle cry to motivate his troops. And, uh, he's going, and if it gets beat about, like, for every, uh, five, his, uh, troops' attack rolls go up by one. So, they all get a, um, I'm going to say everyone within about 50 feet of him. Oh. Well... There's two right here that are, you know, pretty buffed. It's too bad they spent their turns already. It's Gulliver's okay. turn. What did he roll with again? I believe it was I a plus 14, or was it 17? I think it was 17. Yeah, yeah I'm seeing 17. Yeah, it was. So, Gulliver makes another three shots. What do you do? 25. Alright, 22. Um, next up is... Oh, that's a hit. And... Oh yeah, he hits about three of them. He takes out the three out up here. Gulliver is, is proving to be a little bit of a badass, but he's also getting very sick. He's gonna, yeah. he's gonna roll his fortitude. Oh, that's what. Yeah, he had to beat 20. Uh, next turn, he's going to spend uh, vomiting, and everyone will be able to hit him without his uh, any armor modifiers, so, you know. Um... Looks like Nina just got back. Well, she's not here. I know, but you're not getting any help. Aw, <laughs> but Marina coming in to save the day is such a magical girl thing. <laughs> I know, but this is a fair thing right now, and your your two men are fine. So you but know, my man is fine. My ex-man, I don't care what happens to him, really. She just feels like an implant death is not even worse. It doesn't even, you know, it's not even, like, the worst the worst deserves an implant horde death. And, uh, moving in to replace the, uh... Dead ones. The dead ones are these. And now it's the, uh, implant's turn. Yeah. Because you can see them now, I'm, I'm guessing. So. Um, I'm guessing Sarah can see these two now, though, right? Yeah. Gulliver. Watching Gulliver freak out is just more like shit. Gulliver is uh, staggered next round, and uh, he is uh, technically flat footed for this one as well, so. It's gonna be a. Uh, hmm. They have to roll above a 12 to hit him. Miss. Hit. Hit. So. Two hits on Gulliver? Yep. Yeah. And I believe it was plus two. Six. And. Eight. Oh, minus damage reduction. Oh yeah, Gulliver's doing fine. Oh wait, sneak attack damage. So that's a total of... Uh, first is three, and the next is... Yep. Yeah, six, uh, four minus eight is... Two plus one. Yeah, that 
That's a total of seven damage. Wait. Well, you said six at first, and then you rolled the one sneak attack. Yeah, so, and he has armor on, so... Yeah, you're right, seven is correct. Oh, wait. Four. I know how to math. Wait, I mm -hmm. think I, I... I think I did it wrong. Because first is two da damage, plus three is five. Then it's four damage, plus one. It'd be nine. We were both wrong. We Neither of us can math. We're terrible. What is math? What is math? I'm not sure. And, uh... Alright, I believe it's your turn, Farah. Alright, well, the best she can probably do is just attack the two tailed ones right now. Alright, go for it. Let me make sure I have it right. Because I fail at these kind of things when it comes to making my rolls. Everything no, what are you talking right. about? You do great. One and two. Those both hit. Alright, roll the damage yeah, for... 5d6 plus 4. Yep. 21 and 21. How does that happen? And guess what, Farah? They're both dead. Yeah, you just do one long arc and both of their heads roll to the ground. Perfect. And now I can keep running because I still have one AP. Yep. Where to? I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. Someone has to go protect the boys. Yep. So Nicola gets to go. And Nicola... Actually, has one shot before he has to reload, and then he can make another one. Hit. Hit. So, two are dead. He's actually carving himself an escape route because he has no idea why he's in this first situation in the first place. He's like, ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Okay, this isn't wait, good. Wait. Uh, Nicola. Wait, sorry. Does Nicola notice that her that his fiance is like right down look over there? <laughs> um, it's kind of difficult because you know, trying to take aim. Eight implants. And like eight implants. The other guy's feeling sick. By the way, Gulliver's making a big deal about it. He's like, oh, I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Oh, the boss is gonna get really angry seeing me nauseous. Well, at this point, it's... Well, Farrah can clearly hear this, right? Yeah. I hear Gulliver. Yep. Alright, well then, it's a reply. Oh, God damn it, just fuck it up! Alright. Oh, damn, that guy can move far. <laughs> well, he's... He charges up like an ape. <laughs> Uh, but...